hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so before proceeding to the video i just want you guys to know about my multiplayer course so i have created a multiplayer course with over 40 plus lectures and you can see that it's uh, more than six hours of lectures on multiplayer game development using photon 2 which is the latest version in 2019 so uh, this is the very detailed course and in uh, there are some free videos you can uh, take that to see if this course is good for you or not so uh, the link of the discount coupon is in the description so i encourage you guys to uh, buy this course by using that coupon code because uh, you will get the discount so whatever price uh, right here is you will be uh, you will find discounted price uh, by using the uh, discount coupon link hello friends and welcome to my photon unity networking course now uh, the first step is to download the photon uh, sdk uh, from unity asset store it's completely free and uh, uh, you can see that uh, i have uh, opened asset store and we can see the photon classic version so uh, but recently uh, photon has launched its new version with the name pun 2 so uh, you can get the new package by clicking on right here so i'm going to click on the pun 2 package and uh, uh, there has been a lot of improvements in the photon sdk so uh, we are going to use the uh, newer one so once uh, you uh, download this new version uh, you need to uh, go to your unity and uh, in my assets you can see that uh, i have this package downloaded and you can import it by clicking on this import button now after you import this plugin uh, you will see this uh, wizard and it is asking for app id or email so what you need to do is you need to go to this photonengine.com and uh, you need to create uh, an account and after creating an account you will uh, come to your dashboard and you will see a button called create a new app so you need to uh, click on that button so we are going to uh, create a project here so in the photon type you will choose photon pun so uh, it stands for photon unity networking since we are using unity for multiplayer so we are going to select that now after that you need to name your application so i'm going to name my application photon youtube now after that you need to put a description right here and then click the create button now after that you will see uh, an application created for you right here now you can see that i have created this application now since we are using free version that's why we are limited to only 20 ccu now uh, you can uh, uh, copy the app id from here you can see that we have an app id now i am going to click on it and Control c or command c to copy this or you can right click and copy the app id and go to your uh, wizard and put your app id and click on setup projects now you can see that we have successfully applied our app id now click on the close button now uh, we have our photon sdk right in our assets now we are going to search for photon server setting and click on this photon server setting and go to this pun logging so we want to uh, we want photon unit engine to log everything so we are going to select pun logging to full now now the first step is to create a lobby now uh, you know that uh, all of the multiplayer games must have a lobby so the lobby in the lobby all the players will gather and will create rooms and assign each player to a room and then we will start our game so to do that what we are going to do is i am going to create an empty game object and i am going to rename it 
with launcher now in my assets folder i am going to create a new folder here and i am going to call it scripts now open the script and create a new c sharp script with the same name called launcher or you can name it anything and after that drag this launcher to your launcher game object now you can see that we have applied our script now uh, the next step is to connect with our server because in to use the multiplayer functionality we first have to connect with our server and after that we will uh, go next now uh, we will uh, create the we will start coding in the next video uh, 